everyone, welcome to programmingandpython.com. I am back with Amber video. Here, in this video, I am going to tell you the pattern of letter L. In the previous video, I have told you up to pattern of letter K. Now it's time for letter L. I will also keep all the links of the previous patterns up to K in the description and also in the i button somewhere in the right corner of this video. So make sure you click that i button for all the previous videos. So now, let's get started with pattern of letter L. So this is the pattern I'm going to print guys, this is the type, this is the shape L I'm going to print. So as usual in all other programs, what I'll do is I'll just make conditions for stars and spaces. So I write some conditions to print stars and all other cases I'll print spaces. So here there are two conditions, that is the first column and the last row. So in these two cases I'll print stars and in the remaining case I'll print spaces. So let's start the program. Assume, let us assume the size is 5, I write the size as S. So I write two for loops as usual. One is for row looping, these are rows, one is for row looping, and one is for column looping. So I write two for loops. For i is called row. In range of s, s is the size, and second for loop, for j in range. Yes. So I wrote two loops, the one for row looping and one other one for column looping. So here I write conditions like if I said i, so i, I use I use row, and this is the last row. If i equal to equal to s minus one, this is one condition, and we we'll write or this is the first column j equal to equal to zero. As then starts from zero, so for the first column we we'll write j equal to equal to zero. So in this cases, I'll print space, I'll print stars. You know, uh, so I have given this and as space. So by default, by default, print takes and as next line. If I don't give this and after printing a star, it should it will go to the next line. But I don't want that. So if you print entire this stars and spaces, then go to the next iteration. So for that, after printing star, I will just give and as empty or space so that it will go to the here and it will stay there instead of going to the next line. So this is the if condition. I equal to equal to s minus 1 is this last, last row, j equal to equal to 0 minus this first column, and I'll write else. In else, I'll just print spaces. Here in else also, I need to give and as empty. So in else, uh, I have condition for if, where I will print stars, and else condition, I'll print spaces. So after, after this, out of the first for loop, I also need to print, empty print. So after printing this first expression, you have to go to next line. So after this for loop, I will print this empty print. So with this, we will get the pattern of this letter L. As you see, there are, there are simple conditions. One is for first column, that is j equal to equal to 0. Another is for last row, that is s equal to equal to minus 1. And for this, we have taken two loops. One for row looping, and another one for column looping. So that's it guys. Now I will go into my computer, PyCharm, open my PyCharm IDE, execute the same program. See the output. I'm in my PyCharm IDE. Here I'll print this pattern of letter L, which I've just discussed on the whiteboard. As usual, I'll ask the size of the user. I'll take input, enter the size, and, uh, and I also tend to check the size whether the size is less than eight, or if this if it's less than eight, I'll ask the user to enter a value which is greater than 8 so for that I will write if size less than 8 I will again uh, prompt the user I mean I will print enter a value minimum of 8 So if the user enters the value minimum of 8, uh, that's fine or else I'll, uh, if I enter a minimum of 8, I'll call the, in else I'll call the function print pattern and I'll pass this size there because we need the size based upon the size we will loop the, uh, we will loop up. 
the loop based upon this size so we'll pass this size and i will define this function here print print pattern and uh, call the parameter as n this n is the size which we have passed here so we pass the n and as i said earlier in the whiteboard we need two loops two for loops one for rows these are called rows and these horizontal ones are called columns so i will uh, try it i will i will make this as a square so rows and columns will be the same size so for rows i call row in range of n for column in range of n so for rows in range n for columns in range n then there are two conditions to print stars that is this first column and this last row so for first column i'll say if column equal to equal to 0 this will be the first column or row equal to equal to n minus 1 that, or that is the last row so if these two conditions are met then i will print uh, stars and i will give n as empty uh, I, if you follow all the previous videos on this pattern series you will know why i have given this n as empty because by default print takes n as next line that is slash n if we if we do not uh, specify this n it will print star and go to the next line but we don't want that we want to print the whole uh, line we want to print the whole and to print the whole thing and then go to the next line so i'll give this n as empty so in else i'll just uh, print these spaces So now after this first for loop, I'll print an empty print. So to the go to go to the next line. So this is the pattern. Pretty simple. We need only two conditions. This is first column and last row. So now if I run this, ideally I should see a pattern of loop in L. I'll give size of eight. You will see we made something. Uh, yeah. Actually, this is an L, uh, this is also 8, this is also 8, but uh, because we are going to the next line, there is some problem. So, what you can do is you can give space here and print 8. You will see this is the difference you see between the two. If I give a space after star, what will happen is print a star and give a space. That's what you saw here. There is a space here. If I don't give a space there, uh, you will see all the all the things are stacked up so it's up to you in which way you want to print so i just want it as uniform so i'll just uh, keep it a space there and uh, you'll see the pattern like this so this is how we print the pattern of letter always hope you like the video guys if you like it please consider subscribing to my channel programming in python.com also share these videos with your friends who might feel these videos helpful I will also post the uh, GitHub link in the description, also the blog post in the description, and also some other useful links. So make sure you're also looking at the description of this video. I will be continuing this pattern series up to letter Z. So stay tuned for all those patterns. See you in the next video. Bye bye.